Hey YouTubers, welcome back to another episode of NCAA 13 Football Nebraska Cornhuskers Dynasty. This is episode 14, and this is the uh, bye week. This is actually the second bye week, uh, which is kind of unusual. Uh, a second bye week in a season. Uh, here you see we just got done uh, playing our matchup against Iowa State in episode 13, and we won that series. Uh, but in this episode, uh, it's going to be a quick, uh, kind of just basically recruiting episode. I'm talking about the recruits, also talking about looking at the top 25 poll, uh, and also looking at the schedule. So there you see the schedule for this week. Uh, a lot of big games coming up here. Uh, as you see there, uh, Oklahoma State versus Baylor, Texas K-State, uh, Oklahoma at TCU. <clears throat> uh, and, of course, uh no matchups for us this week. As you see here, our, there's our uh, schedule so far that we've, uh, well, it's been taking a while for for me to get through this series. Uh, but there you see uh, our big game coming up, which you see right there, is against Wisconsin. Now, we played Wisconsin there, you see, week five. Uh, we beat them 21-14. to 14. It was a close game. And, of course, uh, there you see they are 10-2 and two currently uh, right now. And they've actually had a pretty good year so far. We'll uh, actually see their numbers here in just a bit. But there you see 31-10 last week against number 23, uh, Iowa. So, uh, like I said, uh, it was a, this uh, coming game, it will be the uh, it'll be championship week where we'll have to play Iowa or Wisconsin for the Big Ten title. Now, uh, we'll take a look here. There you see 12-0. Uh, right there overall 8-0 in the conference and uh, there you see our overalls there and uh, defense and offense of course Washington uh, right there the Huskies are there at the number two position Alabama there at number three Texas Tech or excuse me Georgia Tech uh, at five and then uh, round out the top five is Oklahoma of course you guys can pause the video and check out uh, see who your favorite team uh, who the teams are and see if your favorite team is going to be are in the top 25 there, but uh, like I said, with uh, Nebraska so far this year, it's been a pretty good uh, season. Uh, we've actually been sailing quite a bit. We've actually, I mean, we've had a, uh, close games, like I said, with Wisconsin uh, early on. Um, Iowa was a was a close one there in the first three quarters, and then for some reason, Iowa just uh, could not. Um, we just, I don't know, the, the defense came alive. I would say for. Nebraska just came alive and started scoring um, instead of our offense. So there you see the uh, additional details there of uh, vote getters there. They see, of course, uh, Virginia Tech, uh, who was number 16 last week, and Georgia number 18 last week, dropped out of the top 25 poll there, uh, the coaches poll. Now I believe we'll take a look at the uh, BCS here, and there you see Nebraska and Washington there. Just like in the coaches poll, we're one and two, uh, Alabama, Georgia Tech, Oklahoma, uh, to round out the top five there. And again, like I said, you guys can take a look at that and uh, see who is doing what uh, this week here. Uh, but like I said, we got a big uh, week coming up. We got um, Wisconsin. Uh, it will be in uh, Indy for the Big T Ten Championship. Uh, which is going to uh, be um, it's going to be a, it's going to be a very defensive game. I will say that I I really feel bad for Burkhead because he may not have a chance at the Heisman. But we are going to try to do his business as usual. When it comes to our running game, we're going to try to uh, do a lot of power running up the gut, uh, occasionally outside uh, against their uh, D line. And their secondaries, but there you see 12 and 0 there in the conference there, uh, or 12 and 0 overall, 8 and 0 in the conference. There you see Iowa, Michigan, Michigan State, Minnesota, and Northwestern there, uh, in for the Big Ten Legends Division. Uh, of course, uh, there you see conference records right there, uh, and then we're going to go ahead and look at the leaders here: Wisconsin, Purdue. Ohio State, Penn State, Illinois, or, uh, Indiana, and then Illinois there on that side of the uh, Big Ten. So 
Uh, you know, we got two schools that are red and white. Uh, going to be battling out here for the Big Ten title. Um, so it's gonna, like I say, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a very interesting game. There you see one and two right there. So those two teams will be matching up here in the uh, Big Ten um, game. Um, also, um, of course, uh, as you know, uh, whoever wins that game. Uh, we'll probably, well actually, whoever will lose that game in this case, uh, if we win this game, we'll get a chance to go to the national championship. Uh, if we lose this game, uh, the, we have a, I think we overall, I think we have a better, yeah, we have a better all record overall. Uh, so we'll have a chance to go for, uh, I believe, the Rose Bowl. So we'll go ahead and look at the Heisman watch right now. Like I said, Burkhead's up. Uh, he's been number one position there for quite a few, for some I think for the last uh, two or three weeks now. Then you see Monty Harris there of uh, Temple, uh, Eddie Lacy of Alabama uh, there at number three, and then coming in at number four here, uh, Georgia Tech uh, halfback here. Um, we'll see here, uh, Orrin Smith right there. Uh, has put up some really great numbers, and then of course Mar Marcus Lattimore of the Gamecocks there of South Carolina ran out the top five there. So uh, they those last two have been drop been kind of dropping. I've really putting up a lot of numbers, but uh, at this point anyone's uh, can win it because uh, like I said, this is week uh, 14. A lot of these guys still have games to play, and not to mention they have uh, opportunity if they have if their team's doing well. Which of course you know, Bama and uh, yeah, uh, Bama I guarantee will be in a in a uh, championship game there in the SEC. Uh, they still have championship games to play, and just have to really impress the uh, uh, voters there for the Heisman. So like I said, those are the guy, the top five guys right now for the Heisman, all halfbacks there, uh, and we'll see uh, if we can get Burkhead a national championship here or excuse me a yeah, Heisman championship and also a national national championship but uh, right now we're going to try to focus in on the Heisman just take it one game at a time when it comes to uh, college football so uh, there you see the numbers right there and hopefully we'll go to yeah here we go now we're going to go to the bowl projection these are the schools right here you guys can pause the video and check those out uh, some of the bowl games that are uh, looking at right here that are could possibly happen uh, after this uh, regular season and championship games are over with. Uh, so there you see some of the bowls that um, I've never even heard of or some of them uh, that have been around so long I'm surprised they're still around. So uh, let's, I believe, I'm trying to see if we can see any uh, Big Ten schools. I haven't seen any yet, uh, been named yet, yet but... Uh, I'm sure we'll have some big 10 schools like uh, Wisconsin. Uh, there you see uh, Holiday Bowl, Oklahoma State, and Stanford. Um, and the only reason I'm reading that because I'm, I, I, I'm a fan of the uh, Big 12. But there you see Kansas State, Oregon, the Alamo Bowl. Um, what else? What else we got? Oh, okay, here we go. Ohio State and Texas Tech there for the Insight.com Bowl. Uh, I think now it's called the Insight Bowl. Uh, and then uh, we'll move on here. We'll see some other bowls here as we uh, look at some of these projections. That there are the possibility of these teams possibly meeting up. There you see Michigan State and Missouri for the Mikey Car. Uh, what was it? There it says Car Car Bowl, but Mikey Mikey Car Bowl. Uh, there and then uh, let's see what else do we have here uh, BYU and uh, uh, Washington State uh, you see Iowa uh, f and LSU uh, for the out Outback Bowl uh, and then you got Wisconsin and Texas A&M for the Capital One Bowl uh, Purdue versus uh, South Carolina for the Gator Bowl and then see the Rose Bowl. It looks like Oklahoma and USC, the All-State Sugar Bowl. Uh, of course, there Alabama and Michigan. That would be a good matchup right there uh, between those two schools. And then I believe we're getting close to some of the BCS bowls. That's one of them right there. There's uh, the Orange Bowl, 
Georgia Tech versus Rutgers, TCU in the Fiesta Bowl going against Arkansas, Tennessee and uh, Texas for the A and A A T and T Bowl, our Cotton Bowl there, and then I think we got uh, we're going to show you the national championship, which if everything plays cor out correctly for both teams, we could possibly see. Uh, the number one school that as being us, Nebraska Cornhuskers, going against the Washington Huskies. They're ranked number two in the nation for the BCS National Championship. Now, of course, uh, there's not an NCAA game this year, but we would have. Uh, if there was a game this year, we would see, um, you know, the the uh, top four schools playing in a playoff atmosphere um, uh, way of uh, playing football there. Uh, but, you know, of course, uh, the no NCAA game this year, uh, so everybody's going to be playing 14, um, or I'll, I've, as I've seen, a 14.5, a lot of people have been calling their new series now on YouTube. Uh, but now you here, you see this uh, stats there for uh, the quarterbacks. Now we're going to the uh, halfbacks here. 1,126 yards there for Burkett, 22 touchdowns, his longest being 64 yards. Uh, and there you see... Some of the other numbers there for the halfbacks, and of course Martinez is in there with 218 yards, six touchdowns there on the on the ground for him. And we'll go ahead and we'll move on here, and I believe we'll go to receiving. And we don't have a thousand yard receiver here, but we do have Cotton there, 880, 828 yards, four touchdowns for him. There you see uh, Kenny Bell, who's been uh, very well, doing very well on the on the field there. With six touchdowns, uh, 497 yards for him. Uh, and then you see on defense here, uh, Will Compton with the most uh, total sacks and also the most solo sacks, or so not sacks, but uh, most tackles and the most solo tackles there. But he does have the most uh, sacks there. You see eight and a half for him. And going on down the line there, you can see some other great defensive guys there. Playing very well. There you see, actually, um, uh, Meredith actually has 13 and a half. Wow, did not know that. Uh, that's that's surprising. So he 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 actually has the most sacks this year. Uh, so uh, like I said, uh, there uh, look like pretty good numbers there. Uh, and of course, we're just uh, hopefully uh, we got a few guys banged up. Uh, I know Martinez has been banged up a couple of games, and we just gotta get him uh, rested up and healed up. Uh, and just take this week off and get a chance to uh, go over some game film uh, for Wisconsin, see what we, uh, how we won the game, and uh, see what we can avoid from uh, being, um, you know, potentially end up losing that game um, if we get in a bad situation. Hopefully, that will not be the case uh, here in uh, this uh, championship game. But like I said. Uh, it's going to be a really good game. It's going to be a very defensive game. Uh, now we'll go ahead and go into the recruiting here. As you see here, we still need a, ha a halfback. And I've actually, um, if I'm not mistaken, there wasn't too many halfbacks uh, this season that were on the board. Uh, a lot of them were uh, that I went after were pretty much hell-bent on uh, the schools that, that were in their state. They were not really looking forward to to going to uh, Nebraska or something like that. So, was, so uh, I mean, we're going to get some halfbacks. They're going to be uh, some walk-ons. But also, we still got the, um, like I said, off-season uh, recruitment to go through. And we'll, we'll get some decent guys in there to uh, fill that void there. Uh, it says I only need one, but we can do, uh, we can probably find at least two or three more. Uh, but there you see the skills right there from a lot of the guys. There you see a gym right there from, uh, Jamal Floyd, a uh, Jamal Lloyd, there, a wide receiver, uh, who is signed with us now. Uh, so he's committed. And then you see Caldwell, uh, OJ Caldwell. I, this is a guy that I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing. And then you see 93 speed, uh, great, uh, uh, great stamina, uh, excellent jump, and just can catch uh, like no other. There you see. So. Uh, like I said, we were, like a, uh, I'm really focusing on uh, a lot more on uh, defensive, like this guy right here, Tyler Malone, working on defense this year, trying to beef up the defense to make it even stronger. 
uh, so it can put us in good fielding position uh, when it comes to offense. Um, and then um, during the off season, I'm actually going to be working on um, some um, uh, offensive linemen. Uh, so working on that uh, be something that we'll definitely work on, so we can get uh, some of those. Try to get some of those guys during the off season and get them uh, signed over the summer, and then uh, really go for it during the uh, uh, the uh, next season here coming up. So there you see, uh, like I said, some of the recruits here. We don't have that many. Uh, we had a lot of guys that left um, or um, wasn't really committing to us uh, in the last uh, two or three episodes. Uh, just, you know, I try my best to really uh, trying to encourage them to, you know, to explain why they, they should come to Nebraska and what they'll get get the benefits out of it and whatnot. And they, a lot of them were just not hearing it. And like I said, a lot of them just want to stay in their home state or go with the hot teams right now, like your uh, Alabama's, your uh, Florida, um, Auburn, stuff like that. So, uh, like I said, here you see uh, we got uh, safety right here that. Uh, I thought it looked pretty good, and hopefully we can uh, work on him and uh, get that speed up some. Uh, but overall, just a nice uh, overall right there with him, 77 there. Uh, so we'll see uh, over the off season. That will probably definitely be um, probably somewhere around at 80 by the time uh, we get to the uh, off season training and whatnot. So you see another. Uh, safety, a free safety right there, Sam Thompson. Right there, a four-star guy from Washington, Pennsylvania, who has signed with us. Uh, and then you see Don Robinson, a defensive end right there. And like I said, we're really trying to work on the uh, D-line. I really want to have my DNs come off the line and, and get in there and really do a good job of uh, 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 pass rushing. And, uh, and so on and so forth. But there you see, we do we did get one guy that I just, uh, for some whatever reason, I wasn't paying attention. But, um, yeah, he's just the guy that we probably will sign, but we'll probably end up letting go uh, unless something dramatic changes. Uh, but there you see is some of his numbers right there. And, like I said, chances are uh, good impact blocking. Normally I don't see that too. You don't see that too often, uh, 75 with uh, some of these guys in this game. Uh, but chances are he will probably get cut uh, as we get to uh, the off season and start making our, our final roster. Uh, so you see it's Sean Smith right there. Uh, another good uh, safety right there that I thought would be pretty decent for our off or for our defense there. And like I said, I just want to be able to have some guys that are uh, that can hit pretty well. Uh, more more likely a pursuit and it can uh, you know, play recognition right there. But then we have another gym right there, a punter. Uh, I figured that we'll probably need to end up needing a punter. And I usually, uh, for me, from me, from my history of playing these games, for some reason, uh, I end up coming short of a punter. So went after a punter. Uh, they see some of his numbers right there, and uh, hopefully that will uh, benefit us when it comes to the uh, special teams aspect of the game. So there you see. Uh, I think we got one more guy here, uh, Bobby Allen right there, another free safety. Definitely a gem right there. They, we scouted him, and uh, he's a two-star guy. Uh, and I'm pretty sure by the end, by the end of training, he'll be a three-star guy. Uh, just got to work on him, and uh, you know, of course, a lot of these guys probably will not be starting, or a lot of them will be getting cut. But uh, you know, just give them an opportunity to play in the college ranks there. So. Uh, there you see that is the uh, last oh the last one uh, Coldier. Uh we got him on here he's an athlete there you see his numbers right there and uh, by the looks of he'll probably end up being a wide receiver which would be nice having a good strong uh, wide receiver core I, I'm pretty known for having that in in civil games in the past uh, you know with uh, wide receivers uh, winning or being up for the Heisman, going after the Heisman and whatnot. Um, I think I've actually in the past years past. I think I've only had one wide receiver to win the uh, um, the uh, uh, 
Heisman, and that was uh, just by pure luck uh, that he won that one because it was a tie race between him uh, and the quarterback. Uh, and I believe even a D, a D and I think I had the top like three guys in the Heisman. It was a pretty cutthroat, and, and at the last minute, uh, the wide receiver took off with it. So there you see, we got done with the recruiting right there. And of course, uh, this will be our final week of recruiting. Uh, uh, we're not going to really recruit anybody this week because really there's nobody on the board right now because a lot of all the ones that we we want to go after have already signed or it's just going to be a long shot for us to even uh, try to uh, sign them to a scholarship. So we'll go ahead and we'll sim this week and we'll go into the next week, which will be the, in the next episode when we face, uh, like I said, Wisconsin, and I believe they'll be uh, ranked 10th in the nation uh, as we get ready for our uh, matchup once again. Of course, they, as they always say, it's harder to beat a team a second time around. Uh, and, they, and I'm not going to lie to you guys, it's going to be a tough game. Uh, and it's going to be, um, you know, it's going to be, I, I really think it's going to be, a very well uh, if you like a if you like a defense type of game it's gonna be that kind of game uh, neither side is gonna let go of, uh, of too much uh, and it's gonna be a lot of heavy hits and I think like I say you guys are gonna probably enjoy that episode coming up here very soon but there you see the conference championship that's what we're gonna advance to and get ready to face Wisconsin for the Big Ten championship game of course uh, we win this one our uh, our dreams will uh, come alive because we'll play for the national championship there. So there you see a rematch, a big rematch between Nebraska and Wisconsin it is the talk of the town. I'm sure it is. So there you see the two teams right there, and I believe we'll look at Wisconsin and look into that game here at week five, just uh, early part of this season, one of the first uh, games there in the Big Ten, um, sorry, the Big Ten conference. But there you see the numbers right there uh, for both teams there. Uh, as you see, I uh, believe uh, we had they, yeah, three turns. They had four. Uh, and then interceptions, it was pretty even right there, three to four. Uh, and then time possession, we had it, the ball th about three minutes longer uh, against them. So, And, of course, both teams had some penalties, which I imagine that's going to happen in this game. Like I said, the first time it was – pretty brutal uh, both sides are roughing each other's quarterback up quite a bit and uh, just some um, you know just some really good clean uh, hits from one another uh, just two teams that just really don't like each other because um, you know it's just it's Big Ten football so uh, I mean that's just how it is uh, so we got number one versus number ten of course Wisconsin will love to knock off Nebraska and end their chances at a national championship of course Nebraska wants to move on and see if uh, and make it to the national championship so they can play against uh, Wisconsin or uh, not Wisconsin it'll, um, it'll be um, if everything goes right it'll be um, Washington Huskies there in the next game so there you see the numbers right there from the last game uh, for Nebraska and like I said it will be a uh, will be definitely be a game to definitely watch. So as we uh, end this, like I said, guys, uh, defense or uh, recruiting wise, like I said, we're gonna work on defense, and then uh, like I said, off season, gonna work on a couple off offensive uh, pieces there, work on the line. I always think the line is the most important uh, area to have because without a line, you can't move the ball. And you can't really do anything with a halfback, you know. You know the best halfback, um, you know, can't really do anything if he doesn't have a, a good uh, offensive uh, line to build a wall, uh, so he can get around and uh, run like the wind. So uh, there you see, like I said, the numbers right there, and it will, hopefully uh, it will uh, we'll have to see if we can win this game against them uh, should be uh, like I said a very 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 uh, defensive game between these two schools so that will be looks like that will be it for this episode 
of uh, NCAA football, uh, Nebraska Cornhuskers Dynasty. This is episode 14, and I was a look at the bye week this week. Like I said, next episode, in episode 15, it will be championship week, and it will be for the Big Ten Championship against number 10, Wisconsin, in the next episode. As always, guys, keep yourselves healthy. Please, uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Also, uh, leave a like for the video. Also, check out our Facebook, Tumblr, and Twitter pages. The links are down below in the description. And as always, keep yourselves healthy, and I will see you guys next time.